It's Vonner Mini Moot. Welcome back hey. to the channel. You might notice I'm now at level 42. Yeah, what the fuck? Can I swear in your stream? <laughs> I mean, you can. Just don't say any racy shit and we'll get along just fine. Well, no, that's fine. I mean, like, that's. Yeah. But. Also, the Emancipator exosuit uh, just dropped, so I might try that on one of the planets. I need to see what the uh, current objective is on the galactic map at, right now. Uh, dude, it looks sick. Dude, I unlocked all the stratagems waiting for you to come back. Jeez. And I've got a good chunk of the ship modules upgraded, too. Oh, that's what I gotta look at. The ship modules. I almost forgot. That's what you use all your samples for. I have 496 um, common samples, 64 super samples, and, or no, uh, 64 rare samples and 4 super samples. Alright, bro, it's never done. Patriotic Administration Center is 3 out of 4. Orbital Cannons are 3 out of 4. Hangars, 2 out of 4. Bridge is 2 out of 4. Engineering Bay is 3 out of 4. And Robotics Workshop is 2 out of 4. I need them comments, that's what I need. Well, we'll go grind out some, uh, tier threes. The enemy is oh, attempting to this. seize one of our planets. Let me get we must join the defense. Let me, let me get some progression down. Mm-hmm. The Automaton Petafactory on Varyilia 5 has been liberated by Helldivers. Industrious, well-compensated human engineers are now hard at work retrofitting the Petafactory to create the double autocannon equipped XO-49 Emancipator exosuit. Like its predecessor, Emancipator is an undeniable example of quality craftsmanship. The conditions discovered at the Automaton Petafactory were even worse than expected. It was densely packed with millions of assembly drones, algorithmically compelled to construct socialist weaponry without rest or repair. Of course, these drones, like all automatons, possess only a crude imitation of sapiens, but their willingness to enslave their own metallic brethren is indisputable evidence of their utter inhumanity. The, this reversal is a stunning victory for the Helldivers and for all super-Earth systems. Even the unrelenting assault from both automatons and terminids cannot quell the defiant hearts of Liberty's faithful. Today, the Petafactory, tomorrow, the galaxy. Um, yeah. We have no major order, so we just need to kill three Shredder tanks. I don't know what a shredder tank is, and I don't want to find out. Yeah, that doesn't sound really fun. Alright, so we'll do tier 3 for now, because I'll get you up on commons, and then we'll, after a couple rounds of tier 3, we'll jump up to tier 4 so we can start getting orange. Word. Oh, wait. One second, one second, one second. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Ow. Boom. We'll do Terminate Swarm Extermination Force. I can't talk worth a damn because uh, I got Invisalign installed. Oh! How's that? Um. Does it hurt? Okay, okay. So, do you know the plastic Gatorade bottles are made out of? <laughs> I'm going somewhere with this. Of, are they made of plastic Gatorade bottles? No, but like you know how it feels, like how you know it you you know gives under your fingers, like mm -hmm. the overall mm -hmm. texture of it. Okay, now imagine somebody took a piece of that and form fitted it over your teeth. That doesn't sound good. It gets worse. Like the thing about Invisalign is I have like fourteen trays. And each tray uh, is worn for about two weeks. The thing about the trays oh. is they're not just form-fitting to your teeth, right? No. They're slightly off because the idea behind Invisalign is they're the same as braces. They slowly, like, move your teeth. Mm -hmm. So the first few days with the trays were actual hell on earth. And I had to just fucking bum a bunch of acetaminophen to uh, oh, cope yeah. with the pain. Because I bet you it's gnarly as hell. Here's the other thing. Um, so, for one, on your teeth, they gotta put... Okay, so my teeth, I have a bunch of, um, like, work already done on them. Uh, it's a type mm -hmm. of plastic called P-E-E-K, or PEEK. Uh, that's what my teeth are made of. They put little nodules of that shit, too, to um, kind of act as, like, buttons 
for the trays to lock onto. So, like, think, mm -hmm. um... I'm trying to think. Think of, like, a winter jacket, yeah, how it's got those little click, click buttons. Mm -hmm. Like, you got the little lump, and then you got the hole that the lump fits into. It's like yeah. that, but for your teeth. And the thing is, these are not low profile either. If I take my trays out and just pucker my lips slightly, I can feel one of the fucking nodules on my front teeth. How does that feel? Bad. It's like I'm eating, right? And then you feel those nodules and you gotta like kind of carefully lick to make uh. sure you don't like fucking chip them off or anything. It's horrible. Uh. It's horrible. And everybody's like, oh, but you can eat whatever you want with Invisalign. Well, yes, but actually no. See, um, with Invisalign, you can eat whatever you want, but, um, you have to take the trays out to eat. So you're wearing the trays all the time. You have to wear the trays for 22 single. hours a day. You have two hours to <laughs> sort your meals out. Yeah, but yeah. That's kind of ridiculous. Oh, shit, I think we both get the exosuit by default because it's just recently unlocked. Hell yeah. All right, so Sick. grab grab uh, any of your usual equipment. But yeah, no, um, you can, in theory, eat with them in, but then you need to go take them out and brush immediately after, because if anything gets caught under it, A, it's going to rot and you get corpse breath, and B, um, it just feels bad and looks bad. <laughs> feels bad and looks bad. Uh, I, what does it make your teeth any, like, sensitive at all, putting that shit on there, the fucking buttons? Um, you know, the first few days, yes, and then afterwards, it's it's not, I'd like to say it's not that bad, it is kind of that bad. Um, I guess it could be worse. It could be so much worse. I mean, it'll be dope once your teeth are all straight. Your teeth aren't even, like, bad in the first place. Well, yes and actually no. Um, I had an incredibly overbite. So what happened is, um, I don't think you've ever seen me smile, but, uh, next time you do, um, well, I have trays in, so they're kind of correcting for that. But before I had my trays, my incredible overbite made it so that my front teeth more or less covered my bottom front teeth. Like, you could not see my bottom front teeth when my jaw was closed. Um, the other thing about this is I had a slight occlusion, so my top front teeth were bent in slightly, and they were starting to erode my lower bottom teeth. My bo lower bottom teeth are way fucking shorter than they're supposed to be. Because Another sucky thing about... Back and, like, contacting. Yeah. The other thing is these Invisalign trays, the top tray... Behind my front teeth, there's like this little bubble of plastic that I think they purposely put in there. It's like a little like shelf that my bottom teeth um, grind up against. Like, you rest them. Um, yeah. Live up to your name. Jeez, dude. Dental stuff seems so like scary to me. Just having to deal with that like in your mouth sometimes. Right? Where you're falling and shit, bro. Jeez. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Take it serious. Let me... Lock in. I've been in this strategy for so long. Brother blew up my thing. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. If you can hang on for just a second longer, I can take out one of them. Okay. Or I can just do this. Did you ever rebind your stratagem keys to arrow keys? I guarantee no. you it's going to be a lot better. Oh, you poor soul. Because the thing about that is um, if you're bound to arrow keys, yeah, you don't have a hand on your mouse, but you can still run and fight. Yeah, you can, you're actually mobile. Ooh. Yeah. You can get the samples later, trust me. Changing ice. Oh, I'm dead. I got hit with uh -oh. the spit. Oh, 
Oh, fuck you. All right, well, you're gonna have to call me in. <laughs> I didn't get sentries down, that's my issues, because I was like, oh, maybe I'll call in the Emancipator mech, because uh, you should be able to, if you get a moment, that is. Which I don't think you will. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that wasn't good. Democracy oh. has landed! Eesh, eesh. Yo. Uh, also your equipment's here. Oh, I know. Calling down a sentry! Ooh, boo, 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 boo. Sentry's up, make sure you keep your head on a swivel and down, preferably. Oh my god, I'm dead again. Requesting sentry! Ow. Liberty tag me! Reinforcing! Alright. Oh yeah, keep the bugs away from you, because there's now a mortar sentry down. Your uh, auto cans here. Ooh. Uh. Ooh, yeah, uh -huh. mech time, huh? Uh -huh. Just remember, it's got crazy cooldown, so if you lose it, you're probably not going to get back to the session because we only have 11 minutes to uh, complete our objective. Okay. Again, keep the bugs away from you because. Uh, is the mortar sentry still up? Oh, no, it might have been. Oh no, it's still up, yeah. Remember, you have guns. Keep them at range. I know, they're fucking gnarly as hell. Something like that. No, yeah, this event though is nice, because you get the uh, mech stratagem without sacrificing a slot. Yeah, it's cool if they're just like letting, letting you try it out. You know what I mean? They like check out this cool shit. I love just deleting the small bugs. Also, don't waste your ammo on small bugs if you can help it, because you can just walk over them. <laughs> can you actually? Yeah. Uh, I would wait for the mortar to run out before you try that, but yeah. You're just turning around the Uh oh. Danger close, danger close, danger close. Oh, never mind. I was dead ass scared that I was gonna try to fucking drop a shell on me. Oh my lord, look at that. My bro, what are you doing coming at us right now? All right, mortar sentries down, so you should be good if you want to stop the little ones. Oh, if you hit F, you can melee. Oh, what? Yeah. Which is extra helpful if you just ran out of ammunition. Yeah, I'm them, dude. I mean, yeah, I'm somebody. The tunnel breach. Bitch. Keep in mind, your shells are explosive, so you do have to contend with your own splash damage. It's fine. Stay away from center. Can I just like hop out of this? I'm gonna get all these samples real quick. Oh, so once the shuttle sh uh, shows up, as long as we have time in the top right corner, uh, we're fine. We can just like hang out. Yeah. Word. 
There should be 15 samples in total on this map. I just got like four. Shuttle took a sweet time landing. I'll chip Anyone? in and see if I can help you uh, get samples. I know there's a bunch in the bog pit. Yeah, so there's a couple down here. Did you get, pick up the samples you got when you died? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, mind the edge of the map. The nice thing, though, about this planet type is, um... So, weapons that use overheat, like the sickle and the the scythe... Oh, do they, they make uh, less affected? Yeah, they cool down faster. That's kind of sick. So, blizzards are a bitch, sure, but energy weapons kind of shine here. It's 9 of 15. I'm going to check over here at this building. So on this particular map, if I if memory serves correct, the um, lab buildings always have a couple samples on them. Yes, that's mm -hmm. 11 of 15 right there. Oh, uh, yeah. Here's a couple right here. Damn. We're really picking them up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, here's another one. Come on. Come on. Is it, you got the last one? Uh, we have one more. But honestly, like, that's fine. i take a quick wander over here. There's bullets. Well, if you're still looking, I'm gonna go take a little, a little look over here. <laughs> yeah, the outer oh. rim is where you wanna be looking just remember stay within the map I'm gonna check the bog one more time ow oh, my, my liberty langles oh, found you found it found it found it found it hold on, hold on. <laughs> ow. have you fallen down the uh meta hole of uh medical armors Medical armors, is this... Are, are you are might you be wearing... About? Are you wearing the Butcher, the Bone Snapper, or uh, the the uh, Trench Medic? Uh, actually, no, we'll check uh, back at base. I have no idea what the name is, but the boost so is... I think it's... Stim two extra capacity. stims? Yeah. Yeah. Stim capacity, and then, like, the time that it's active is increased. Yeah. You have maintained our way it's just a good armor, man. It is good armor. I tried I experimenting with the medicine. scout armor, and it just, oh, I couldn't. It looks cool. It looks cool, and in theory, on paper, the functionality seems cool, but then you actually go to use it in-game on high difficulty, and it just sucks. I don't know how people do it. I personally just can't. I need that survivability. Because I don't use my nades that often, and... I have eyes. I can see the enemy. I don't need my pings to, you know, spot them for me. I oh, know, honestly. And as far but as, like, so the electrical gonna... grounding from that one armor set, like, yeah, I guess it's good. But, like, I don't use electrical stuff that often. And more often than not, I'm the one with the blitzer shocking people, not being shocked. Okay, so you're using the butcher armor. Because the butcher is the heavy variant. So this is the bone snapper that I'm wearing, which is like the medium variant. Good work. Is there a medium variant? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I think it's a... Um, hang on, let me check. I want to say it might have been Steeled Veterans. Let me let me have a look-see here. Was that? No, it wasn't that. Um, was it in the actual main war bond? Oh, it might have been. Page one, page two, page three. Page four of the uh, main war bond, like the big one. Like the one that you should have unlocked by default. Mm. The CM09 Bone Snapper. Let me see.
I'm trying to Which save page? up metal. Um, page oh, four right. on a uh, main war bond. I didn't even know I had that. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. So for medical armors, okay. So there's in the light armor tab, the trench paramedic. So 64 armor rating, but 536 speed and 118 oh, stamina regen. In medium armor, there's the Bone Snapper, which is 100 armor rating, 500 speed, and 100 stamina regen. And then in the heavy section, there's the CM17 Butcher, which is 150 armor rating, 450 speed, and uh, 50 stamina regen. The stamina regen is nice. I mean, I you want your stamina... Well, it depends. So, medium armor is good middle-of-the-road stuff, like... Your average balanced or, or uh, you know, paladin class, you know, like, it's not super tanky, but you're also not wearing tissue paper. It just, it, it gets the job done. <laughs> it's enough. Light armor, you basically are going on the philosophy of, um, if they can't hit me, um, I don't need armor. And then on That's the other so end cool. of the spectrum... Uh, CM-17 Butcher is, I am fully aware I'm going to get hit. I don't intend on moving that much. <laughs> that, that's basically what heavy armor is, is you basically accepting, yeah, I'm going to get hit a lot, and I'm going to hit them back but just as like hard. Chill. <laughs> it's chill, because I'm going to be beating them up. So, yeah, I mean, I change armor classes based on the team I'm with, because... And the map as well, because if I think I'm not going to be moving around a lot, then I'll absolutely do a heavy armor. But if I think I'm going to be very active, then yeah, I'll probably do a medium or light. I feel like the only time a heavy armor is, is like banging like that are like those defense, uh, like when they come in waves. I don't even know what they're called. The um, like the eradication mission we just did. Yep, 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 yep. Like that's when it's super relevant. Mm -hmm. But if we're playing on like a bigger map, fuck that. Well, case in point. Alright, how are we going to want to approach this? So the strategy I've been using for most maps, if I can get away with it, is I either do clockwise or counterclockwise. In this mm -hmm. instance, I want to say we drop right here because we'll hit the pod, right? Um, or, oh, no, you know what? We'll drop here, right? We'll fight our way up through here. We'll hit the pod. And then we'll go up through outside. here. We'll grab the hard drive, hike it over here, back around, and then we can loop back down to here. Uh, there is a chance we'll probably miss secondary objectives if there's anything here or here. But, it's fine. That's, yeah, it's fine. The secondary objectives at this difficulty stage, not that big of a deal. Alright, um, you know, I don't think I actually need anti-armor. Because at this stage, we're only getting uh, nursing spewers. So I think. Put the while out. I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy machine gun and shield. I am the wall. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We're going to do rail cannon strike for uh, quickly killing things. And then. <coughs> Yeah, Gatling Sentry. I'm going to bring Grenade Pistol because I rarely use my secondary. And then... I mean, I'm using something that has ammunition, so... I could probably go... Oh, you know what? I'll bring the fucking... Defender. Fire rate. God, the Pummeler is just a fucking worse version of the Defender. Ugh. This sounds like a worse version. Well, okay, so Defender has um, da so damage capacity, recoil, fire rate. It goes 70, 45, 10, 520. And then the Pummeler is 65, 45, 10, 475. So it fires slower, um, has the same recoil, same capacity, does less damage. But it's supposed to stagger enemies. Fuck that. So I'm going to bring the SMG so I can uh, shoot shit while I carry the data. Or... Mm. Actually, you know what? If I'm going to do that... 
rocket machine gun. That sounds dope. What are you doing some rockets? Oh, at some point when you get the medals for it, you should get the Liberator Penetrator. It's a armor penetrating version of the Liberator, has the same amount of ammunition. I think the fire rate might be a little nerfed, but it can penetrate medium armor. Honestly, like a slight. Just the fact that the is the same as dope. I, hate, I think like, it's the same. Difference. Or if, if it's not the same, then I think it's like, uh, it's not that noticeable amount compared to the vanilla Liberator. Like minus five or something. Yeah, like five, ten. Uh. Either way, I will say with the Liberator Penetrator, in my personal experience, I tend to be very stingy with ammo, which is why I like energy-based weapons that don't have ammo. And I always feel like the Penetrator seems good on paper, but then I get way too conservative with the ammo. And, like, I'm too stingy with it and can only kill one thing at a time. I've been absolutely ripping these nachos from this smart food. <laughs> Made with the fucking Doritos flavoring. Mm-hmm. We got medals and medals. Lordy, there's a patrol over there. How do you well, spot? Not for long, there won't be. Peace. Uh, let's change this to 450 RPM for ammo conservation. I forgot that you could do that. Yeah, if you hold R, you can change your fire mode and uh, fire rate. Reloading. I'm gonna change my ammo preemptively just because we have an ammo box here, so may as well. Also, make sh uh, fun fact. So if you hold R, you can check how many rounds are in your auto cannon. If you wait until you're at five and then reload, you have a faster reload. Five? Yeah, because five just only puts in one clip of your ammunition. Oh, it's like one of those. Mm. Yeah, one of your little stripper clips. Um, okay, so we need to go. Well, all right. So we'll hit that one on our way back from there. So we're gonna go here first. Okay. Go in with a plan. Come out with uh, bands. Yeah. Bands. Bands. Bug hard spotted. About to come out of the drop pod doing a mummy spread. Couldn't be me. Ah, fuck. Okay. I don't feel like dealing with that, so Gatling Sentry up. Keep your head on a swivel. Honestly, lowering the fire rate makes it feel so much punchier. No, oh, I love that. It goes duk, 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 duk. The sounds. Right? Game. Yeah. Sound design is really important when it comes to weapons in video games. Wasn't it like, yeah. there's like some fucking multiplayer game, where it was, it was like fucking Americans versus Germans or some shit. It was one of those 90 games that had that mm -hmm. theming, right? And one of the teams, like the guns had different sound design. So it, uh, like, it felt different for the players, even though they were fucking identical guns on either side. Yeah, but it doesn't feel the same. Mm-hmm. Alright, um, we need to go to the escape pod. I'm still getting kills all the way fucking over here. This is great. Are you actually? That sentry's going nuts. Yeah, man. Jetpack on? Yeah. I'm a fucking rocket sentry or some shit. 
I do need to warn you, we need to hang around this pod for just a hot second while I upload this. Touch me hang. Oh, if you hold X, by the way, um, you can drop samples, so you can hold that. <laughs> I'm sure you won't Dang. die horribly. Yeah, well, excuse me. You can also hold yeah. X to, um... Yeah, yeah, I bet. No. <laughs> you can also hold X to drop any of your oh, backpacks, yeah, weapons, or, uh, or the objective, yeah. Yo. So we need to go Dying this way. Northwest, 200 meters. I wonder if I can fly with the objective. I didn't know you could make snowballs. Oh, you found one of those patches? There, uh, I just threw one a second ago. I didn't know what to... Can you get more than one? In theory, yeah. If you find the right patch, you can just gather snow. It yeah, usually is like here. a prompt for it. I was over here messing with my thing when I was on it. Yeah, no, I don't see it. Heck. I wonder, hang on, maybe if I, maybe if I just, like, fucking crawl around in the snow. <laughs> this is where your Super Earth tax dollars are going, by the way. Yeah, to help us make snowballs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get a move on. Is that... I'm gonna ping it. Is that... No, I, I, I don't Tagging think I... It's something. I don't know what the fuck it is. But there is a uh, POI over here. Yeah, it's a vault. Oh, guess what I got. What'd you get? I'm on it. Fucking snowball. <laughs> yeah, that's it weird. I don't get the prompt for it. There. Watch your back. Sentry going up. Oh, I missed. I think I missed again. Doesn't matter now. We got sentry. Where are you this going? Way. This way. Well, I need you here so you can open this vault. There's probably goodies inside. There's stuff in here. We'll get that in a moment. Looks like requisitions and medals. Oh, so by the way, um, your requisition slips, um, once you hit 50,000, they cap out. Really? Yeah. Buy, buy stratagems even if you don't think you'll use them. Uh, I think that's just like a farmhouse. There might be like a couple samples and uh, maybe some ammo boxes over here. Yeah. There's an ammo back. Yeah, we've been here. We've already been here. We've been around here. This is literally where we just came from. We were talking about gun design and I hopped the fence. <laughs> You're getting distracted. This is why I try to plan the mission in advance. You'd be surprised. I'll hop in on somebody else's mission and then they just kind of like defer to me because I'm like, okay. What if we do this, and then go here, and then do this, and then do that? And there's like, yeah, man. All right. Hey, so I like, bet you a lot of people just get in here, and they just, like, run sporadically. Ah, oh, God, honestly, right? And to be fair, though, if somebody has a better plan, I'm more than happy to defer to them. It just, as it happens, most people don't plan. That's what I'm saying. Like, they're just hopping in here and going nuts. Mm. I mean, on the one hand, I can appreciate a good turning your brain off, but on the other hand, you know, it's more fun when you know you what you're doing. I'm getting random kills, so I think my uh, turret just fucking started beating some poor patrol. Package. 
Yeah, you just grab it and then drop it repeatedly, and then, like, the weird stutter step is faster than, uh, just carrying it normally. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't put anything in yet. We're gonna order them and see what all we have. We want to avoid smoke if we can, because smoke is basically fucking useless. Static field's the next best one. Napalm would be the next up on the tier list. And then explosive, then, like, high yield and mini nuke. There's another one over there. In that over corner. here? Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh, and there's another one over there. Uh, hit Q and you can ping it. Hold on, just run back over. Oh, no. I've got the package. Mission at 30 minutes remaining. Alright, so that's explosive, explosive. That's three explosives and one static field. Uh, yeah, uh -oh. explosive. yeah, all right, so we'll do uh, four explosives and a static field. We'll do static field first just to get out the way. So then we'll have uh, artillery support for the rest. What is a static field? Just like a slow? Yeah. Get they ass, bestie. My turret is so slow. Alright, so yeah, let's load static first and then explosive. And then explosive. And then explosive. The other thing is, once you're practiced with using uh, arrow keys for your stratagems, you can do them really fucking fast. Yeah, I bet you it turns real, like, easy. You just gotta get in the swing of it. Like, deadass, I can do... ...and have Jeez. supply ready like that. Or do fucking... I can hear you banging about that quick. <laughs> yeah. Well, the other thing is just practicing your stratagems, so if you know what you're doing. Stratagem Hero does pay off once you have it unlocked, like... I think once you hit a certain level, you get it on your ship, and then you can just, you know, practice banging out stratagems. I will say, though, um... Hang on, let's pull back to the Sentry and just have it take care of this patrol. Fucking... Yeah, come on. Over here. There's a Sentry. Ripping. There we go. Democracy. Handled. Democracy tastes like heart palpitations. Democracy gave me the lead paint stick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that tracks. Our government is ran by a bunch of old people. All right. Static field going up. Watch your, watch your step. It's not gonna hurt, but you're gonna go real slow. What the fuck was I supposed to do? Well, no, that was really funny. Like, I died, and then, like, the camera was an angle turn, so we just see you looking over that ledge. <laughs> Made all my loot. Oh. I'm shooting auto cannon straight at the ground. You know what I mean? Yeah, keep in mind, you have splash damage on that. Alright, I have the the um, submachine gun as my uh, primary, so I can run and gun. Your primary? Which one do you use? The submachine gun? Oh my god. Uh, it was like the Defender, I think?
I'm just somewhere. goaded, man. Just goaded. Uh, I need to open it and then I'll grab it. I'm on the terminal. Seaton, and I can use my primary still. Well, look at you. Well, that's that's the nice thing about using uh, single-handed weapons. Tagging map, northeast, 100 meters. We'll hit this bug hole on the way. Killing them, yep. Um, Alright. You should still have access to your stratagems. You could probably call an explosive CF right now. We have access to it. Nice shot. Yeah, that was like in there. Oh, well, that's one of them closed. Right, I'm gonna get in close real quick. Listen here, motherfucker. There we go. You don't fucking bite me. I bite you. You taste like oil. Ow. Ow. Closed it. Alright, now where do I leave the objective? Alright. moments it's not my favorite secondary but it is a fun gimmick weapon it, it's like satisfying being able to like one tap two tap and then after we drop off the data we can just call in mechs because we still have access to those <laughs> call in mechs and just like dick around yeah because I'm pretty sure you can use the auto cannon shots to close bug holes too. I mean, they are explosive. Yeah. Well, I know that because I've used the auto cannon before, and if you angle your shot just right, you can close a bug hole with it. I mean, you gotta get it like in there. I mean, as long as you have like direct line of sight with the holes opening, then you'll be fine. I can close this bug hole with one hand. Watch this shit. Oh, never mind. It's more than one hole. <laughs> Alright, here we go. About a bingus. Fuck, that one went wide. Fuck, stupid fucking. The thing that sucks about the grenade pistol is its ammo economy is shit. Because you think, oh, you grab a box of ammunition and then you're full up on it, right? No. no. You get two? like one, maybe two grenades back. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Right? Like, yeah, it's nice because I rarely use my secondary unless I'm, like, in a pinch. So, especially on Bug World, it's really good for, uh, just, like, closing shit up real quick. But, yeah, like... I'm uh, to grab ammo, like, four times. I mean, you just kind of have to... 
restock it when you're restocking your other things and kind of just hope for the best. I think this is the facility up ahead. I can't fucking tell because everything's fucking cum colored. Mother Nature, stop jizzing in my fucking eyes. Oh, look at that. Sample. Mission at 20 minutes remaining. Here's the drop box. That was entirely unnecessary. Or you're shooting guns. Uh, I'm gonna preemptively call my mech in just so that's on cooldown. It takes nine minutes for it to come off cooldown. Nine minutes? Yeah, man. We only get two as well. That's about how it's the only two. Like, I can see a limit on because they're just, like, ridiculous. I just wish, like, there's a support weapon that let you repair vehicles. Because especially once they bring, like, the fucking rover and shit in, um, I need you to turn the satellite tower. Other way. And hold it there. But yeah, no, like, if they intend to add vehicles at some point, like, it'd be nice if they added a repair support weapon so you can maintain mechs and cars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or, like, have somebody, like, have a dedicated backpack and support. Like, a backpack that could restock vehicle ammunition. That would be dope. Like a tanker crew, backpack or something. Right. You can let go of the satellite now, by the way. Oh, well. Wow. I took hold of there very seriously. Engage in terminal! Alright, we up. Uh, Watch your back. Um, we got one last bug hole, and then we can meander over to extract. Where's the bug hole? I marked it on the map. Mm. On our way to some hole. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot my high explosive load in that hole. Oh. Remember, you can step on the little ones. Just the bigger ones you gotta worry about. Such as that. Oh, I'm pinging. Why am I pinging? Did you have your map open when you were trying to fire? I did. Yeah, it's the worst. Did you ever play... Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, I might have. It was either Star Wars Battlefront 2 or 1. I know I just have it downloaded because um, my dad had it for PlayStation, so 
I got it on Steam. Mm -hmm. I think I have Battlefront 1. Did they have the... I think it was the Ewok Survival. Mm, no clue, yeah. Oh, dude, it was... Or, I think that... Is that what they're called? I feel like I'm stupid and that's not what they're called. I don't really watch... I don't really watch Star Wars, but I play the game. And... It's in, like, the jungle. And mm -hmm. it's like an infection game, and everybody, like a bunch of people, start off as stormtroopers. And then there's one little furry Ewok guy running around. Jesus. Sounds fun. Every kill turns somebody into an Ewok, and it's like 64 players, so it's gnarly as hell. Because they're Lord. small, and they move really fast. And you, like, it turns night, and you can barely see shit, and you have like limited <laughs> flashlights, so everybody clumps together. And like, it gets to a point where people are just shooting lasers so they can see. Good lord. It's crazy. I, I just got like a random flashback of that, and I want to play that so bad. Let's set that POI real quick, and then we'll uh, extract. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, so I learned some stuff for a uh, difficulty seven suicide mission. Um, if you're looking for super samples, you gotta look for a structure that's been dubbed the butt plug. Excuse it's, me? It's like a rock structure that has like a very peculiar look. Oh, it's just an arc thrower. Mm. Samples around here. Uh -oh. All right. Tag to extract. But yeah, there's a structure that's been nicknamed the butt plug because it looks kind of like a butt plug. <clears throat> and the super samples always crop up around it. On difficulty 7, I believe you can get, like, four. <laughs> four samples on the, block, on the butt plug? Like, yeah, four samples from the map total. And they that's always crazy. crop up around that structure. I haven't even gotten to the point where, like, super samples are relevant. Yeah, they will be. Sooner rather than later. Hold them off, I'm gonna call extract. Fuck. Alright. Time to help. Step on the little ones, shoot the big ones. Nah, I'm laying them off. Possibility. Let's hit the fuck bees. You didn't see me struggle on that wall for a second. Can't even yeah, they can off-road a little bit. Um, if you get like up to waist-high water, they still work. You just can't let the water go over the head of the mech, because then you auto disembark and then you drown. What? Yeah, they're not water sealed, but they do work uh, for most bodies of water. Don't get caught underneath the dropship.
Alright, I'm tapped out on ammo. Get in there. I'm gonna keep getting kills even after I leave. I'm getting XGM Brother. What the fuck are you munching on? The Doritos smart food. The Doritos what? Smart food. Smart food, huh? Yeah, it's just smart food, but instead of like the cheese. It's Doritos. Is it is that the popcorn? Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Alright. I promise it's so banging. I don't doubt it. Oh god, fucking I was gonna say tomorrow, but it's 126 AM, so later today, um I get the verdict as to whether or not I get rehired or if Jeff's did some fucky shit. I wonder who's gonna do your interview. This is a good question. I hope none of my past transgressions come up. Because I wasn't exactly what you would call a golden employee. There was the incident with the box cutter in the bottle room where I got a big-ass fucking slash. Um, and subsequently, I was, you know, not willing to give up my box cutter initially. And that was a whole fucking thing. They wanted to take your box cutter? Yeah. Technically wasn't mine to begin with, but like, oh, come on, man, fucking gave me the box cutter. That's cutters. so stupid. That's so stupid. Oh, my you're gonna hurt you now again. And jokes on you guys. When I come in this time, I'm bringing my own knife. Yeah, for real. That's solid tang. Um, I believe it's like five or six inches. Um, tip to blade hilt. That shit goes on my hip, and it's my knife, and nobody can fucking take it. <laughs> yeah, I'm capped out on normal samples again. Golly. I have 500 greens, 64 orange, and 4 pink. And if I want to go any further, I need uh, pinks. I need 15 pink for basically... Well, a 10 in this instance, and 10 on that one, 20 on that one, and then 10 on that one. So I need to get between 10 and 20 pinks, but before I can do that, I need to get at least 80 uh, rare samples. 80. Well, I have like 64 like currently. Yeah, oh, man. Well, once you get up to like difficulty 4 and higher, like you're just picking up rare samples left and right. What, they just sort of take over the spot of the... No, of the no, world? they're still, like, they got their own spots. And rares are just fucking everywhere. But, like, on higher difficulties, they do kind of spawn everywhere. Let me save up uh, 60 medals so I can get the spray and pray breaker. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be fucking morally. I'm gonna crank it up to challenging. So, I'm going to definitely want to bring anti-armor. Uh, flagpoles and eradication is going to be pretty easy. Flagpoles. I'm going to flag on my pole. Uh. Yeah. Alright. So, I'm going to run... You know, I could just do shield and eats. Yeah, that works. Shield, eats, uh, rail cannon strike for when it gets dicey. Gatling sentry for the funsies. I'm going to switch to the blitzer. Blitzer, my beloved. I fucking love the blitzer. You don't even know, man. <laughs> what is it? The Blitzer is, it's basically an electricity shotgun with infinite ammo. And because it's Nasty. electricity, it kind of like auto-targets. Nasty. Very. I'm not sure why you're bringing Napalm on a defense mission like this. You're going to be in a very small space with that. It's fine. Alright. Mildly. 
I'm still waiting for them to release a flame-proof armor, because they have electricity, they have explosive-proof. Um, I want, like, a... Would be nasty. Right? You fucking break out the flamethrower, and you just fucking napalm some bugs or automatons. That's another thing, is I want flames to affect automatons more adversely. Because anybody who's owned a gaming computer can tell you too much heat will absolutely fucking toast your PC. Oh, yeah. Oh shit, it's this one. Dump back in this cube. So I'm going to be fucking spamming EITs the whole time. Because EITs are basically one-use anti-armor, but they have such a low cooldown. Like, you can just shit those things everywhere. What? No! Why there? Sometimes it bounces and sometimes it's like, mm, I'm going to go right here while you ask me to. I'm also call an SOS because if we're going on higher difficulties, not reinforcing SOS. All right, peep this shit. Damn, bro, I didn't know you were autistic like that. Oh, yeah, your jump pack's here. Did I zap you? Uh, I don't think so. Alright. Yeah, that's the only thing about the Blitzer, is it is the friendly fire in Aider. Oh yeah, I bet. I bet it just like arcs straight to them. Behold, Perry the Platypus, the friendly fire in Aider. Now I will accidentally harm the entire Tri-State area. It's fun. It's fun. It does kind of suck sometimes why the Blitzer will just decide to ground to, like, dead bodies. So, oh, so it ruins your arc. Yeah, like, you'll be trying to shoot something that's actively trying to kill you, and then it's like, mm, no. Get your fucking jump pack, bro. Hey, 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 whoa. I got my jump. My big ass is gone. The nice thing about the Blitzer is it doesn't use any ammo, so you don't really have to think about it. You can just spam it. You're just lighting them up. Yeah, man. Does it overheat? No. Really? What the, fuck? the only downside is it has a kind of a slowish fire rate. Nom Don? Absolutely. 
Remember, you can call in an Emancipator if you need to. Ah, fuck. Shield's cracked. <laughs> Watch your fire lines. Okay, because I will accidentally arc to you if you're too close. You know what? I'm gonna fucking. Oh yeah, I got a shield for your face. Oh, well, fuck you. Get fucking eaten. You good, buddy? First death of the run. That's it. Yeah? Yeah. I'm getting out your mallet. Mm-hmm. I'm getting out your mallet. Bit late, but yeah. It's Alright, so how was your challenge for? I was getting beat up. Victory was never in doubt. Yeah, it happens. Oh yeah, you want to hear uh, my favorite song from this uh, industrial metal album? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it to you now. Cause it goes bing, bing, bing. Like I dead ass will play this on fucking loop. I don't know if it take twenty minutes and open up my Spotify. You don't have it open all the time. <laughs> is that a synth or is that the guitar? Those high notes. I think it's a synth. Gnarly. That white bound like that. Liberty is victorious once more. Uh, how are we doing on medals? I got 40. I need another 20 if I want to get that uh, breaker. Oh, you know what? Um, I don't actually have to loop this. I can go to my like songs and play that. And I get to listen to it again from the start. <laughs> I'm a very simple creature. I will listen to the same fucking song over and over and over again. Just because I can. Yeah, I mean, I... <laughs> I have a lot of, like, Spotify rap. So, like, if you get the year, it gives you the big list. I have all of mine saved, and 
the, oh, the top song is always like something that I just played like incessantly on repeat for like four days straight. Yeah. Also, also, a little bit of Nickelback as a treat. As a treat. Just a little bit. The one track in particular, uh, Animals by Nickelback. <laughs> Do you know the one? Uh, I bet you if you played it, I would. Well, I'll send it your way. One second. It is this one. Alright, how oh, where are we yeah. gonna do this? I knew it immediately, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking we start up from here, we'll hit that, that, go up here, hit that, that, and then go down. We can go through yeah. here and then like just kinda spread out here and here. So we'll go like here to start. Wow. You can call in your equipment and your mech if you want to. My I want my mitt. Uh, let's see. I could bring the Quasar, but I'm feeling traditionalist. <laughs> Do rail cannon and precision strike. Precision strike has a super low cooldown relative to everything else. And then Gatling Sentry for shits and giggles. I mean, if we're both popping in our mechs, then, I mean, like, fuck it. I don't really need the... Fine. Well, I don't need the grenade pistol if that's the case, because we can close it with the auto cannon anyway. How Oh, we're also at 30 followers on the channel. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna need another 20 and then I can hit affiliate. I don't know if that means I'm gonna start making money or if I have to become a partner, but... I uh. mean, you have to make a sacrifice to Twitch. Yeah. You know, the funny thing is, I did, like, because periodically I'll get in chat those fucking bots that are like, uh, buy viewers and followers here. You know, just on a whim I checked. I'm like, yeah, I can get two dollars for two hundred followers. And I checked like TOS and it's technically against it, but like there's a lot of mixed information about it. like, oh, if they're genuine or you know, high quality. It's like which is it? Is it not allowed or is it allowed? Can I pay to win or not? Make up your fucking mind. Like be honest. Don't sit here and play with me. Deploying SOS beacon. All right, I got my mech and I got my nickel back playing. Spewer, behind you. Hey, 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 hey. Mind your proximity. You don't like the aggressive stop in your direction. Well, uh, the other thing is this game fucking loves friendly fire of all kinds. That's Checking for medals. Problem. I guess. Requisition slips. Bait. You mean bait? I got so much fucking bands, I don't know what the fuck to do with it, man. Alright. Objective marked. We're gonna close up those holes, and then... We're gonna watch a flag polarize for like a minute to two minutes. Because it's really fucking slow. I, I like that there's tail lights on the mech. 
right? Well, you gotta make sure that your enemy can see you backing up. Get signals oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Big boy, big boy, big boy. Just die, motherfucker! There we go, he's dead. Alright, I'm gonna close up the this last bug hole. Alright, that's closed. Scaling a mountainside, Skyrim style. I'll get him. You get the flagpole going. Oh, I gotta hop out. What yeah, man. Here, little bug. Remember, there's seven on them. Yeah. Look, there's a bunch. I won't get too close, because remember, a uh, charger can come out, and they're. Kind of tanky. Well, I mean, they didn't, but they could. One of these times, they're gonna. I mean, we're on difficulty four now, so the chance is definitely there. We gotta witness the flag, remember? My bad. Witnessing it. Watching it extend. Played a game called. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One arm cook. One arm cook. I can't. I can't say I have. I feel like that would be a, a fun little group game. <laughs> Give me an elevator pitch. Sell me on it. It's so. Basically, it's like really similar to the physics. Of like tabs. Yeah. But it's like first person. Yeah. And we're running a restaurant. We're cooking mm -hmm. meanies on the grill. We're we're toasting buns. We're scooping ice cream. Making burgers. Mm -hmm. All sorts of stuff. And it's really just like a. I don't know. It's one of those like quirky, goofy games. That it's like. It just turns into a massive fuck around. I see your game, and I raise you an even sillier game. It's a game called Wobbly Life. Wow. So, Wobbly Life... Um, uh, okay, how familiar are, are you with uh, Gang Beasts or um, Human Fall Flat? I know about Gang Beasts. 
Alright, so think of gang beasts, but instead of mercilessly beating the shit out of each other, you're just like a wholesome little yellow dude. And um, you go around doing cutesy little quests and getting like money to buy costumes and cars. And you got body physics, and you can grab stuff with your fucked up little hand nubs. Do I what? Do you have cards? Uh, Wobbly Life? Yeah. Oh. It's a cute little game, and it's got multiplayer. I think it can probably support up to four people. Might be more. You're getting me thinking. You're getting me thinking. <laughs> Get the fucking guys when you just dick around. Like, that one thing you can fun. do is... Okay, so the game's got, like, um, NPC drivers in it that just, like, drive around the city and island, right? You can dead ass just hop on top of their car, or if they got like a truck, you can just hop in their truck bed and just ride around. It's all that's like vibe. It. <laughs> and you can also carjack the wobblies, because that's what they're called. They're the the people are called wobblies. Wobblers. Wobblies. <laughs> it's very child friendly. I All right, you got that one and uh, that one. I've got. All right, you got that one. All right, I'll get the one behind you if you get those bugs on you. Say hello to democracy. Dropping a pen, north, 200 meters. Oh no, that's my last bullet. Oh no. I hear gunfire. I'm guessing you ran out of bullets. Yeah. I got a minute though. The other thing about Wobbly Life is... So it's got like an open world exploration thing, right? So you got like trucks and vehicles that you can... Alright, I wonder, can I... Alright, that totally works. See, but, but I really like that. I like that, like, open world, just like... But the other thing is, so, like, the jobs are all, like, mini-games. So, like, <laughs> there's there's one where, like, you do, um, you work at the hospital, and you, uh, pick up wobblies, and you put them in a vehicle, and then drive them back to the hospital. Um, there's a variant of it where you do it with a helicopter. So you just oh, fly yeah. across the island. Right? Are you kidding me? And there's other ones where it's, like, a pizza mini-game, so you deliver a pizza... Oh, um... Uh-oh. Well, that's all my ammo used. I can fist fight this spewer. Oh my god. Don't you fucking call for reinforcements. Fuck you. Stomp his ass. Bug biting the curb 4K. But yes, there's a mini game about delivering pizza. There's one in like the suburb where like you start the game, where um, you use like a fucked up truck and a gun that launches newspapers, and you gotta hit everybody's house to get a certain pay amount. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just turns into fucking 
shooting newspapers at each other. Sorry. Get fucked! Bro is trying to crawl away. <laughs> Big boy. All right, so with Strap enough consecutive them. hits, um, you can blow off their face. You just gotta <laughs> hammer them repeatedly. Spewer. Squirter. <laughs> just call him the fucking Coomer at that point. So there's the newspaper one. There's another mini game where you gotta load up a bunch of radioactive waste onto your truck, and you gotta load it onto a conveyor belt to dump it in a pit. But the pit actually has a guy. His name's like Fred or some shit, and he eats the waste. So it's environmentally friendly. Yeah. As long as it's going somewhere, you know. Uh, there's another mini game where like you gotta do like ice cream scoops or some shit, and like it's like. Uh, Papa's Freeze Ria, but with more fresh drink. Walk, bro. No. <laughs> Just step on them, God. Um, but yeah, no. So Wobbly Life has like a large open world, and then like the real meat of the game is in its mini games. I like, I like the fact that it's open world. Though, like, I like the ability to just like go and sort of fuck off. Yeah, like you know, you can explore, and it's a big fucking world too for the kind of game it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, they got, like, a winter area. Like, it it takes a good couple oh, minutes got, to get around. We got like, biomes. Yeah, yeah, so you got the big city, you got the suburbs, um, you've got, like, this kind of, like, um... You have accomplished liberties like, uh, like, hills area. Like, think, uh... Think, like... Like, not quite... Like, think, like, Connecticut. Like, it's, like, not quite buttfuck nowhere. Like, there are buildings, but it's all usually, like, along major roads. They got mm -hmm. that kind of area. Um, they've got, like, a vacation area. So think, like, Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what else? And they've got, like, a jungle. Oh, and they've sick. got, like, uh, Huey helicopters with, like, the, like, the side doors. Excuse me? They got like a jeep. Um, there's like in the jungle. There's like um, like a temple puzzle. I never did figure out the puzzle because I'm a little stupid. I mean, shit, man. If you're willing to spot me the amount for the game, I'll fucking buy it for you. I could pay you back. Yeah, cash man. Me on Thursday. You have cash app? <laughs> uh, yeah, I got cash app. I got PayPal. I got Venmo. I don't know if mine still works, though. Oh, PayPal. I don't use PayPal in a long time. Like, I could you PayPal. I mean, I use PayPal for commission stuff. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. When, I get off, when we get off stream, we'll show you some of the new characters I've been getting. Because despite the fact that, you know, I have limited income and I've been operating on savings and fucking pittance, you know, still, man, you, you gotta get you gotta get that art. You, you, got, you gotta get the goobers. <laughs> you gotta get that good art. Yeah, man. Fucking spent like $230 on one set in mind. Okay, but to be fair, it's a set with three characters and, like, um, I'm not gonna go into detail about it, but I'll tell you later. <laughs> There's a lot going on. I, the, the original set isn't horny shit, but like the alt, it, it's like environmental recontextualization. So like, I think three characters like chilling at a cafe or something, and then same arrangement, but instead of a cafe, it's like, you know, a bathhouse. <laughs> it's not necessarily horny, it's just like, you know, environmental storytelling. 
The lore, yeah. The lore. Well, I also want to get those three characters drawn together because their shit's linked. Um, I'm, go I, I'm going to type it out instead of say it out because it sounds fucking cringe if I say it out loud. You just know it's cool. Alright, there's one more bug hole here, and then we should be good. You can cover me. I'll uh, close this last hole, and then we can wrap it up, because I'm running out of bullets. I just ran out of bullets again. Alright. Punching time. Oh, what am I doing? Where, where are you? I thought you were over here with me. Fuck, okay. <laughs> hey, your first orange. Yeah, I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I still love the fact that as I'm waddling away, um, Don't Stop Believing is playing. <laughs> Alright, yeah, Exosuit's fucking toast. Luckily, I haven't used any fucking ammo, so bada bingus, get fucked. A little fucking arsonist, aren't you? You just like Glade. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm gonna light everything on fire. I mean, it, I, it works, but purifies. I'm still going to judge you. Flame purifies. I guess, man. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh shit, we missed the spot. Okay, um, if you can hold down extract, I'm going to get that last spot that we missed. I had no fucking idea. I thought we hit everything. Did miss something? Yeah, hold extract. I'm going to go there. Because if we leave extract, then the shuttle goes away. So just hold the door for me. While I'm out here, I might be able to get some samples too. I don't know. I'm gonna ping that so I remember where it is. Got a nade launcher with uh, six nades. Right when the fucking Eurobeat decides to start playing. No, 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 no! Come on, come on! Not, not like this. Fuck you. Uh... Just keep holding the door for me. Uh oh. Well, the shuttle's landed. Um, I don't suppose it can run away now, right? Surely. Hopefully. Yeah, let's hope not. I mean, we have 18 minutes, so if we need to call it in again, we can. Just another two minutes, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna grab the nade launcher. Oh, hang on. Wait. Do we not have a limit on the Emancipators? Oh, shit. I don't think we have a limit on the Emancipators. What does that mean? It means we can call in as many mechs as we have time for. Oh, what? I think, if I'm understanding correctly. I'm gonna try to call it in. No fucking shot. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna go grab my rocket launcher if that's the case. Ow. You're fine. Got stabbed by Buggy Boo. Do not shoot me near me. There are explosives. All right. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Top of rocks. Yeah, so in theory, I mean, in another nine minutes, we can call in mechs again. <laughs> I don't think this will take nine minutes, but, like... Yeah, that's fucking dope. Turn this shit into fucking Titanfall. There's a movie, okay. So, hey! Watch your fire! Sorry, I'm try trying to get this Just fucking step on him! Uh -uh. Use the dehydration gun! Oh, have, have you not seen that? Uh -uh. Oh, it's like this fucking dude reviewing the Megamind show that was like ass. Like, pointing out a fucking plot inconsistency. And, like, he, at one point he says, Use the dehydration gun! With the same inflection that Benson from regular show has. <laughs> it's not intentional, but that's what he sounds like. Come on, you're telling me I can't look down in this thing? Nope. That's my weakness, I can't look down? We all out of neck. Uh, anyway, right, yeah, um, fucking TikTok, yeah. So TikTok, like, you always get those fucking movie clips that have, like, the shitty music and the violence, like, poorly edited out, right? One of those yeah. movie clips, it's for a movie called Atlas. I don't know if that's the proper title, I think it is. But, um, it's basically legally distinct Titanfall, if I understand it correctly. You're gonna <laughs> fucking mogged, dude. I know. Oh my god, right? Or do you remember, you know it was a banger? Real yeah. steel. Oh my god, right? I, of all the fucking wow. franchises to get sequels and reboots, like... I know, Real Steel didn't get one? Right? Pacific Rim did have a good run. I, oh, shit. Artillery, we can hit that. Bro, Pelican 1 is being so fucking patient. I know, look how nice. He's like, yeah, take your time, boys. Either that or once he's landed, he just can't fucking take off again. So he's just fucking sitting there, impatiently tapping his foot, waiting for us to get over with. I'm watching us walk in definitely not in his direction. Requesting sentry! Alright, I got static feel. Oh, smoke! Ew, smoke! Ew. I don't- it doesn't really matter the- the- what shells we put in this time around, because we're gonna fucking extract right after this, so. No, there is, though. Yeah. Rare sounds. Hell yeah. I wanna go this way, but I'm scared of your big gun. I'm not. Uh oh. No, no, ow, ow, ow. Oh, okay. I was so close to putting the shell in, too. Like, if it had just taken, like, five seconds later. Uh, there's a shell already over there. Just pop it in. Assaulted. 
I'm about to light everything on fire again, I swear to god. Fucking do it. I just got fucking vine boomed like three fucking times in a row from almost dying while being stimmed. It was like boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay, that time it actually killed me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, why so far away? My bad. <laughs> The other nice thing about the Blitzer is if you're real patient, it can kill Spewers. In fact, uh, if you want to experiment with it, there's a spare one right here. Right, there's one dangerously close to you that I cannot shoot. If you could uh, be so kind. There we go. Oh, dude, look at all those guys over there. oh fuck, that's a charger. Oh. Hey, do you by any chance? Oh, okay. Well, you're dead now. Um, lucky for me, I have a hat trick. Shabingus. Reinforcing. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this over here. Start working your way towards extract because I got a sentry that direction. I love how the sentry just slowly turns to drill the fucking spewer in the face. It's like, I am tired of you hitting me. Be gone, thought. Oh, okay. Spewers are gnarly. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, I'm getting back in one of the mechs. I don't know if it's mine or yours. I think this one's mine. What happened to yours? It's fine. Uh... Hold the door for me. My fat ass is coming over. Got your samples? I picked them up. I picked up someone's shuttles or samples. Yeah, I picked up a whole ass fucking shoulder. Uh, move, move, move. I'm right behind you. Remember to dive so you can put yourself out. Does the dive actually put you out? Yeah. That's crazy, huh? Alright, we should be good. Unless you want to hang around more. Hell yeah. My ass is CP. <laughs> Democracy prevails once more. Uh, uh, uh. 
Mm. Yeah, so Wobbly Life is seventeen ninety nine. Uh, it would be dope if you spotted me, but I totally get if you don't. I mean, we finished the second mission, so if you want to change gears, totally can. How big is the game? Uh, great question. Let me check its size in my library. My Wi-Fi is going to bang in, so if I can download it real quick, I'll play for a little bit. Uh, 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 uh installed files. 1.74 gigabytes. Oh, dude, I'll bang that out in like two minutes. All right, yeah, shit. I'll uh, send you a copy. Word. I'll definitely get you back. All right, uh, I'm going to, in that case, I'm going to end stream momentarily, and I'm going to call you on Discord. Okay. So wrap it up, you know, do the fucking outro shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A wobbly life, uh, if we get more than just you and me to play, then I'll make a stream of it. But this one's been going for an hour and 46 minutes, so thank you to nobody who showed up. Um, if you're watching the VOD later, tell your friends. This is no longer a request. It's an order. Fuck you. I love you. Bye-bye.